Hey guys, my mom just did my hair. Come back to our video. And sometimes she do the hurt. And I also have a good trailer ever, but um, I don't care. Please but. don't lose your headband. On break from lunch, and on break from lunch, on break from work. Trying to do better. Drink the water. I'm getting a salad. Thank you. Hair growing like crazy, y'all. Almost back to how we used to be. Hey y'all, I'm home from work. It was a long day. Um, I actually left a little early because I wanted to hurry up and get Mason. But um, Mason, I don't know if y'all know, but Mason's in kindergarten. And, you know, kindergarten's a little different than pre-K and daycare because they don't take naps and they give them more responsibilities. So I think Monday and today, Mason has just not had the best, the best day. She just, you know, she's not following directions and stuff like that. And, you know, just a typical toddler. But <clears throat> I, I'm sorry, I got my, got my bra. But I just, I'm not about that. You know, I'm all about her doing the right thing and stuff like that. So I'm learning how to discipline her but still remembering that she's four, you know? So it's very difficult, um, cause it breaks my heart when I have to get mad at her and I have to spank her and all that stuff. But today, you know, they have, let me tell y'all. So her school has this thing called Class Dojo, if you guys know what that is. Pretty much what it is is that the teachers give the kids points and take away points. They give them points for things that they do positively, following instructions, you know, being on time, staying in line, participating, doing your work. And they take away points for doing negative things like talking in line, not following instructions, things like that. So that's just a system they use to keep the parents involved and also to teach the kids, you know, about just being obedient and just learning obedience and learning how to be in school and things like that, you know? So today, this is the most Mason has ever got taken off, but she's gotten, she got about four negative points and that's the most she's ever gotten um, since school started. And it just really broke my heart. So I'm not gonna spank her anything because I love her. <laughs> but, um, I did tell her, of course, no dessert tonight, and normally we watch a movie before bed. We're not doing that either. So we just ate dinner. She just got out the bath. She's putting on lotion, putting on her pajamas, and we're just about to read a book and get in the bed because we didn't do well in school today. He's so silly. Stop popping that booty. Stop it, little nasty girl. Don't forget to put, hang that dress back up. Okay? Okay, but mommy, you have to look on something on my eye. What's on your eye? My, um, I took off my boob and I was bleeding. It's bleeding? No, it was bleeding at class. It's ble it was bleeding at class? No, it was bleeding at happy hearts. Oh, it was bleeding at happy hearts? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta kiss it. Nah, when I kiss it, it's gonna make it go away. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Alright, brush your teeth. Didn't go away. This needs to go in the dirty clothes. This is Yeah, I just wanna go to sleep. But I got some shows I wanna watch. I wanna take a shower. And I wanna eat. Oh yeah, like my bracelet. Oh, is this all thing? Oh, I'm so sorry. Mason made this for me. She's such an artistic little girl. You gonna mm. stop. Come on, let's go pick out a book. 
This is what we're doing right now. Good morning. So we're just dropping the baby off at school. She had a little bit of, she had a good morning, but trying to teach her how to tie her shoes. But you know, we're just gonna try again tomorrow. Are you riding? Said you never ever leave from the side. Hey y'all, good morning. Um, today is Friday. Um, I am looking rough, but that is because I'm getting ready to head to the beach. Hold on, my lens a little dirty. That is because I'm getting ready to head to the beach and I'm getting ready to run and meditate. Um, so stick with me while I get there. My beach is like 15 minutes away from me, so we'll be there shortly. All right. So much work to do. I'm trying to get it done. Trying to get it done, y'all. How do you like the hair today? A little wash and go. Let me know if y'all want a video about it. Sunday um so this is the first day of the vlog I am waking up early as hell because I'm going to first service at church and because I need to get my praise on my praise and worship um so yeah that's what I'm gonna do and I gotta work later excuse my face I'm sorry I don't wake up like you know Beyonce I wake up with a swollen face okay this is real life real life hold on So I need to figure out what I'm going for. Yeah, as soon as I leave church, I'm going to work. Y'all hear me? See, I'm yawning, y'all. It's just, this is, this is just life right now. It's just life. Do y'all go to church? church do y'all go to listen the reason why i go to church or why i try to maintain going to church is because i feel like it just makes my week better you know i know there's a lot of um other things going on out there what is that i know there's a lot of other things going on out there like um people who just don't believe in God at all and then you have like the law of attraction um I actually believe in some in portions and of the law of attraction but I think personally that the law of attraction can go hand in hand with you know believing in God I think those two can go hand in hand and I think once they go hand in hand I think they can be marvelous together so that's kind of the journey that I'm on right now I do believe in energies and stones and crystals i do do that as well so i kind of do a mixture of everything i think god is everything to me he is in everything the holy spirit the spirit of the universe is in everything so i believe you know believing in god you know religion law of attraction and then stones and crystals and dealing with energies because law of attraction and energies come one and one go hand in hand that's real and then the law of attraction and believing and having faith that goes hand in hand with religion and that's just how i feel about it so i think they all go hand in hand together and there you go there you go look at pizza bowl just because i let you go there you go i'm gonna go put on some gospel music good morning good morning good morning Just fed him. He, if I don't feed him, well, of course I feed him. But you know, if I ain't on time, baby. Oh man, he is meowing like he pretty much is saying, "Bitch, bitch." Hurry up, give me some food. Take time, even though I'm on that grind, I close my eyes to see you. Hey, tell me love's not blind, rather. 
rather die than leave you. Blend, girl, blend. Get these eyebrows snatched. So I was talking to my friends yesterday, and I was like, um, I want to go see Beyonce, the next one that's closest to me that you know I can save up to go go see is in New Orleans. I said, I'm gonna go to New Orleans, girl. And it's like, you know what? How come I can't go? Because you know, me and Beyonce got the same amount of hours and days to be successful. And she looked at me, she was like, really, Samantha? And I was like, okay, okay, you right. I don't have um, Jay-Z in my, in my corner. You right, I don't have him. You right, um, I don't have billions of dollars. You right on that too. I don't have, you know, great sponsors, you know, with millions of dollars, you know, but I got the same amount of hours and I got the same guy, you know. <laughs> we gotta work with what we're given. Let's go because I'm real late. Got my perfume on. I'm gonna put some um some on my lips in the car. I'm gonna be hungry, girl. Um, good morning, guys. It is five o'clock in the morning. I've been up for about 30 minutes. Um, got a little workout in. So it is Monday. Um, so gotta get Mason up and ready for school. Get myself ready for work and yeah <laughs> um yeah so I'm just making me some coffee <sighs> yo I am so glad that I'm off tomorrow oh that's so rude but I am so glad I'm off tomorrow you have no idea so this little coffee machine be jipping me on my coffee. I wanted to fill it all the way up, be filling it up halfway. Unacceptable. He left his food. <laughs> I know you're gonna be expecting me to bring it to him. <sighs> Rushing out of here in the morning. That's all right. But yes, I'm so glad to be off tomorrow. I mean, I'm I'm glad because I have Mason has a um a doctor's appointment, but it's not until 3:30, so I really get the whole day. So I'm super glad about that. My plan is to clean up the house and then see if um, Sean wants to take her into the movies. Because it's foul and movie night. <laughs> Hot like a mother. All right, so let's get this bed made and then Try to get a little bit of myself together before I have to wake up the queen. <laughs> it's time to greet the day. The sun is waving at you, saying good morning, good morning to you. It's time to wake up, Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Come here, big girl. <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? My armpit. Oh, your armpit's hurt. I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Good morning. It is, what is today? Tuesday. Tuesday, happy Tuesday. <laughs> um, so goal today, because I'm off, is to organize Mason's room because it is so unorganized. There's just shit everywhere. So I need to just get it together. So this is what it looks like right now. So I got it started. But as you can see, there's just stuff everywhere. And we just need to get everything together. Like, we just need to get it together. Stick with me for just a few minutes and see how I transform this mess into a success. Hashtag.
this also helped me go through all of her stuff and see what we don't play with anymore what we can give away like it's time to let this go all right you guys this is the end product i think it looks a whole lot better got her books down here and toys and everything organized her little doll house i put some little lights in here so her little doll house and everything kitchen area books arts and crafts some more little toys her dress up stuff and then her bed I put some lights over here too and then her bed so I hope she likes it <laughs> So now it's time to go and pick up Mason because she got a doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy because you know my house is clean. Ain't nothing, it ain't no better feeling in the world when your house is clean and you can just and you still got day like there's still daylight outside, you know what I'm saying? So you can still go out and do shit. It's amazing. All right, I'm gonna put my shoes on. I'm about to go pick her up from aftercare and yeah i hope she likes her um her room i spent a lot of time on it so i hope <laughs> she likes it i mean or you know what you know what i really want i hope she notices the difference you know that's i guess that's what i'm saying i know she's gonna like it she loves everything but i just hope that she notices the difference so we got the baby she was so upset with me. She did not want to leave the daycare today, the aftercare, because I got there right at three, so she wouldn't even be able to do nothing. So she was so upset with me. She was crying, but she's okay now, right? It was thanks. Did you fart? You sure? Mm -mm. Hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I'm all dressed and ready to go. Getting ready to go to the movies with Bay. So, how's y'all day? Mason is at school. She should be getting ready to go to aftercare real soon. Then I will pick her up from aftercare. I'm getting ready to do that. And yeah. <laughs> this is um a different TikTok show. So we went to go see that movie. Um, Slender Man, she obviously wasn't with us, but it was scary. It was kind of dumb, but it was scary. It wasn't like how, um, how like the murder mystery was, like the real murder, Slender Man murders were. But, mm. Oh, guys, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. But if you don't, we can see you about another good channel. It's gonna be so fun. But, so guys, I want to tell you something. Oh, it's a secret, okay? I went bad at school. Don't tell your mom and sisters. That's awful. She was not bad at school. She just got two negative points. She had a a 77% day, which is not it's that bad, but it's okay. No, it's like, guys, do you remember about Benjamin? He was too loud like in that word, but he's out of it. Mm-mm. He's out of it. But guys, I'm gonna show you what else I can do. Sit down. Scoot back. Good morning, you guys. Sorry I look pretty ratchet, but um, I just wanted to come in and say hi and then also to let you know what i'm getting ready to do this morning so oh crap so pretty much every day i um i write down my prayers um i have a book 
just a regular journal. Um, and I just sit down and I write down my prayers to God and to the Lord. And what I've been doing is I've been doing it nightly. Um, it's pretty much, you know, thanking him for my day and things like that. And that's what I did for the first two weeks. Um, I haven't prayed or I haven't written my prayers actually um, in a, since Sunday. So I've written my prayers since Sunday. Um, so that's what I'm getting ready to do now. And then I'm going to just take it up a notch. One of my girlfriends has been doing this. Unscribe the word. August scripture writing plan. So I know August is almost over, but this is what I'm going to do. It has about 31 different things to do. So I guess for every day of the month, I'm just going to go ahead and just start today. And of course, it's going to go into September, but um, at least I can have 31 days of just sitting down and reflecting and reflecting on his word and reflecting on, um, you know, just getting better, being a better person and getting to know God a lot better, getting to know the Father a lot better and getting to know um, myself in his presence a lot better and just things like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Um, if you want to do it with me <laughs> today, um, today the prompt is, this is the part one, Miracles of Jesus. So we're going to be looking at John 2, 1 through 5. And what it's asking you to do is it's asking you to write your passage of scripture, observe the key people, words, and themes, and then how does the passage, how is the passage relevant to you today and declare and pray the passage over your life. So the acronym is WORD. So we write, observe, relevance, declare.